All right. So joining me is going to be Sam Roberts, Festival Director of IndieCade. Welcome, Sam. Hi, Willa. Thanks. I was so glad you were able to ping me in Discord. Um, useful to be able to find people in all of these channels that are suited specifically for that and for parts of the festival. We should probably go and check out Second Life. Uh, we can take a tour of the Second Life space together um, because that's one of the other cool um, platforms that we're using to have some parts of the festival this year. Oh, awesome. I've never used it before, so it's going to be an adventure. Ah, it's pretty simple. We'll go and we'll download and we'll jump on over to the island and you and I can look around it together. Awesome. All right, here I am on secondlife.com. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click join free. And here's where I enter my information, my username, my email. Um, and once you're done, you go ahead and create your account. I've actually already created my account, but it'll bring you to this downloads page in which you can download the Second Life Viewer. And I've already got that on my desktop right here. So I'm gonna do a double click and um, if it's your first time, you'll probably have to enter the username and password you just made. Go ahead and hit that login button. We're walking. We're walking. You'll click on the web link and it will uh, ask if you want to go there. And then if you say yes, it will open Second Life and teleport you, or you can go back to Second Life, which is already open, and the location will be open and you will be able to teleport there. Cool. Oh, cool. Teleport. Boom. Whoa. You're a magic person. Wow. Right, come in. I went through one of the weird portal oh. things. Not water. Okay. I'm here. Oh, not a. Cool. Hey, Willa. Hey. What up, yo? Um, I'm gonna keep this indicate code. Woo! And now I can read it. That's cool. You should do this, Willa. So click on it and then keep the item and it will open up a little text box that you can read. Awesome, oops. Oh no, oh, I accidentally clicked. You rejected the object because- I reject the object. I reject the, oh, you can edit it too. Yeah, when well it's, it's yours it. now. It's now oh. a piece of paper you own. Wow. Maybe I'd... And we viewed it now. And so now we ought to be able to go inside. And then- but How do we go inside? Oh, no. Tips and tricks. Oh, wow. Keep tips and tricks. Oh, no. I don't know how. Oh, here's how we go to indicate. We click on the glowy hole. Oh. So, folks, after you agree to the code of oh. conduct, click on the glowy hole. Oh, my goodness. Look at this snow, this sun snowman. Oh, whoa, we can get a swag pack. Oh. Amazing. Oh, but not until October 17th. Oh. Boo. Is it's it arcade? Whoa. I see cool things. There's ap apple bobbin. Wait, what, where's the apple bobbin? Next to the uh, tree in the, in the town, in the, in the circle. I'm coming back, Willa. Have you tried bobbing apples as an adult? It's actually incredibly difficult. I haven't tried it as an adult because what I remember from being a child is that it's basically impossible. <laughs> okay. I oh yeah, I got a candy apple. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, keep. Okay. Deliscus. And now I'm just gonna keep on bobbing for apples until I stand up. There's a pirate ship to explore and oh. a Ferris wheel. Um, oh. And as I understand it, pretty much most days at 2 p.m., there will be some special activities happening along with the constant flash jams and fun and the uh, Saturday night party. Saturday nice. night is the party. Um, and the party starts 
with a session where they'll teach you how to make or refresh an avatar if oh, you have never used Second Life or if you haven't used it in like 10 years and are like, oh yeah, how does this thing work again? Here's the vending machine. Should we check one out? Yeah. Ooh. Select the object I want to see. Um, a pirate cutlass. Color cones. I've got a wooden fence now, too. Hold on. I'm going to wear my pirate cutlass. Oh, nice. There's a playground over here and a medical tent. This playground straight up looks like a place I wouldn't send my children, I'm afraid. Oh, that's what um, the medical tent's for. Tractor, lift. Oh yeah, this wheelchair makes this whole area look so much more inviting. Not wheelchair, rock and chair. Guys, I'm driving a tractor. Look, Ron, I'm riding a fuzzy tractor. Oh, wow. I want to go inside the medical now that I've seen what is inside. Wow, look at these posters. Go inside the medical tent. Oh, I did not want to stab the map with my colors. <laughs> Definitely is what seems to be happening. So what you'll see here, by the way, just for those who have of interest, is that the objects have animations attached to them by a script. Oh. So since I have the cutlass, when I use it by clicking, I go through a little stabby, cutty, dancey move. You could just have a cutlass fight. I think you picked the right one because I don't know how or if I can wear the colored cones I got. You probably can. A lot of it. So if you go to your inventory. Okay. Uh, it's a little briefcase. Briefcase. And then go to objects. Uh, sorry. So the drop down you want is my inventory mm -hmm. above library, right? Uh -huh. And then at the bottom of that, you should have objects. Yes. And if you open that, and then Ooh. you right click on objects, uh, you uh. ought to be able to wear them. For instance, I can wear a wooden fence. Oh, party hat. Oh, delight. Delight. <laughs> delight. Excellent. Wow. Dang, this party hat's got bears. It's got bears. Yeah, I've got bears too. Wow. Now, if I was here, oh yeah, the problem is I'm wearing a fence. You can't see Willa, but I'm wearing a fence. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, when you are wearing, wearing a fence. fence. Man, that's like punishment for something. <laughs> I just put it on. <laughs> you should be, oh, look at this. Uh, I didn't even realize that, but that scary looking building uh, across from the medical tent yes. with what appears to be lightning in the sky over it, yes. it is an escape room. Oh, that's right. I saw it on the map and it yeah. didn't connect. It will be fully implemented and oh, playable uh, during the festival. What an amazing time playing here in Second Life with you, Willa. This was pretty fun. Yeah, thanks for coming. I'm glad that you were able to hang out with me in Second Life. Yeah, I if I didn't have so much to do in First Life, I'd say we should do it a lot more often. 
<laughs> Speaking of first life, there's tons to do on the IndieK Twitch and Discord, so I'm actually going to go and check it out right now. Awesome. So we're going to go to the anywhere.indicade.com. And here is where our headquarters will be. On the top, we'll see our menu and where I'm going to be able to tell you all the different experiences and show you how to get tickets. So you're going to head over to buy tickets right here. Click. So here we are on the ticket site. Um, so what can the passes get you? We've got three different tiers. The first one is our free for everybody tier. Um, it allows you to tune in to our streams, which are gonna happen 24 seven until October 24th. Uh, in addition, we have plus passes, which will get you into conference sessions that aren't streamed, but we'll talk more about that later. And finally, the premium pass. So this would allow you to get into exclusive networking chats where you can meet with other developers as well as other pass holders. I'm actually going to just go and register for this public one now. I'll open up a window over to Eventbrite in which you'll click this green button that says tickets. We'll go ahead and hit one and check out. Here's where you will fill in your information. Um, you can choose to see if you want these things and then we'll click register. Great, so you get your information immediately after registering. And here is the link for the public ticket holder portal. I'm actually just going to highlight it, right click and go there. And here we are. And this is how you get into the Indicate Anywhere and Everywhere Festival. Um, so what I'm really interested in is the Twitch streams and a chance to see all the new nominated games. So I'm going to check out this schedule right over here. And here you can see everything that's happening at the festival. Um, I remember a particularly interesting stream was going to be Tick Source with Derek Yu. Clicking on it shows me the date and time. Default time is actually in Pacific. However, if you're anywhere outside the West Coast, we have local time right here. And um, if you want to add it to your calendar, either your Apple or Outlook or Google Calendar, go ahead and click it here. Let's say it's time to watch a stream. Everything that will be streaming as well as the reruns are going to be on twitch.tv slash You can either click on this handy dandy hyperlink or you can type in twitch.tv slash And here we'll have all our broadcasts and our streams. Make sure to hit follow if you're not already. And if you can't make it to a session, you can always catch a rerun. So for example, we got the Derek Yu session here as well as a rerun down here. So you might be wondering what these colored buttons on the side means. These colored dots let you know if you can join a session as a Zoom audience member. Anything with a blue dot is a conference session. Anything with a yellow dot is a networking session. Your pass will dictate what sections you can join, and you can access those in the Zoom links in your pass holder portal. All right, so I'm going to go on indiecade.com slash discord. Oh, that's the invite. Ooh, I do not already have an account. All right, and there's an FAQ. Um, oh, okay. We well, got to register for a pass right here. And after several tries, welcome to the festival. I'm able to join. Now that I'm back here, I'm going to head over to the general chat. Huh. It looks like some people are already chatting. I will shout hello on the top. And why not send a GIF?
Oh, hey. That's my favorite gift. It's not my favorite gift, but it's really good. <laughs> oh, so this is our Discord lounge where you can chat with other people and have conversations with other festival goers. I'd actually recommend going to introduce yourself first to let people know who you are. Hi, I'm Nyx Omatosis and I like Radio Red. Now everybody can know all about me. So the last thing I wanna do is check out the game activities. So go to anywhere.indicate um, once again, and we're going to go to games and games activities. And here's where we can play some unique games with other festival goers. All of these actually require an RSVP, so I would recommend checking them out. And if you're watching this video right now, make an RSVP because spaces are limited. So, thanks for hanging out with me and Indicade anywhere and everywhere. I look forward to seeing you around the festival. Happy Indicade!